Problem 11. Resistance to meditation. Resistance to meditation arises because you haven't found the right meditation method, the one that brings joy. When you resist meditation, you lose the interest to meditate upon seeing the cushion. At that moment, there must be vexations in your mind, making it difficult for you to sit still, because the moment you sit there, vexations all arise. If you move around or work on other things, you might not feel as agitated. However, when you start meditating, vexations all arise, making you uncomfortable and unwilling to continue meditation. For such individuals, you should refrain from meditation for now. Instead, you can engage in chanting, volunteering and listening to the Dharma. Anyway, to keep you busy. Listening to the Dharma is good as it helps you gradually eliminate some negative karma. Alternatively, you can also make prostrations or chant so that you have something to do. But don't rush to meditate. Otherwise, when you meditate, more than half of the time is spent in daydreaming with occasional moments of mindfulness. That won't work. In that case, you should reduce the duration of your meditation session, do some chanting first, and then meditate. If you find your mind runs away after sitting for about 10 or 20 minutes, you can switch to chanting, make prostrations, or listening to the Dharma again until your mind settles a bit, and then resume your meditation. Otherwise, your meditation will be a waste of time, as you will be pondering uselessly, feeling tired and agitated. After the meditation session, you might even complain to me, saying, I have a toothache, or I have stomach ache, all of which are the results of your meditation. If you don't have mindfulness during meditation, and instead ponder uselessly, then no wonder you get toothache or stomachache. When meditating, you are supposed to become more and more comfortable. Whenever I meditate, I immediately feel refreshed and comfortable. How could I feel physically uncomfortable? Moreover, a seasoned meditator can cure any illness. If you meditate well, you can cure any illness. You will have problems in meditation. Everybody does. However, don't be afraid. You can view them as challenges. Locate your attachments by reflecting. What are you clinging to? What are you expecting? When you are caught in gains and losses, you immediately become entangled and your mind becomes unsettled, like clear water becoming muddy and agitated. Okay, that's all for today's lecture.